This exercise is going to create an app script to select from a main folder and select the folders that we have contained within this main folder and output them by their name and their ID into a spreadsheet. And that's all coming up in this lesson. Go ahead and select a folder. In this case, we're going to be using a folder. I've got a couple folders. So this is our main folder where we want to get the contents from and we're going to list out the folders. So select the folder ID, go into the spreadsheet, create a sheet called folders, select the bound apps script, and we're ready to select our folder using the ID, then create the function. And this is going to be listing the folders in main folder function give an ID. So this is going to be the main folder, main folder ID. So this is a string value and I've just copied that from the folder page. And then we want to select the main folder and we'll just call this uh, folder. So using the drive app service, we get the folder by ID and that's where we use the ID that we just set up. So the main ID is what we're going to be using there. And then we want to get the sub folders and this is just going to be a separate variable where we're going to select all of the subfolders from there and use folder and get folders and this is a method that we've got within app script we're going to get all of the folders we can log out what we've got currently right now within the subfolders value and let's uh, list that and run the code so we've got a folder iterator which means that we have to use the has next to iterate through the contents of the folders. So next let's set up the spreadsheet so that we can write to the sheet and we're going to get the current sheet object using the spreadsheet app service, getting the active spreadsheet object and then selecting the sheet by name. So get sheet by name and then what the name and make sure that this matches. So we've got a string name of folders. So make sure that it is matching. I'm just going to call it folders and that allows us to select the sheet object. For the sheet, we're going to append a new row and the row is going to be the header row of contents. So that way we can do the folder name and folder ID and then you can add different values if you want. So this is just setting up the folder header or the sheet header. And then we're going to use while because this is an iterator. So while subfolders has next, then we move through the iteration and we get the subfolder as an object. And we can pick that up using the iterator and next. So that will remove it out from the list and provide us that subfolder as an object. Let's get the name of that particular subfolder. So we take the subfolder and we use the get name and there's a bunch of methods here that we can utilize and we can list out a whole bunch of details about the folder. So another one that we can get is the ID value. So again, select the subfolder object and we've got the ID, we've got last updated folders, files, we can get editors, description. So all of that information is there and you can add that into the spreadsheet if you want. I'm just going to be using those two values and we're just appending the row with an array and the array is going to contain the name and the ID and just comma separate that. Before we run the code, this actually needs to be within an array format. So let's try that and we've got the folder iterator and if we go over to our Google Sheet we can see that both of those folders IDs have been now captured within the spreadsheet. And that's what we want it to do. So whatever number of folders there are within the main folder is going to be captured within the spreadsheet.